Photoshop gives you lots of flexibility to change the edits that you make. In this video, we'll explore how to undo, redo, and step back in time as you're editing. You can follow along with this file from the practice files for this tutorial or an image of your own. Let's start by making some paint strokes on this image. Select the brush tool in the tools panel. Then go over to the swatches panel and click on a color there. You can use any color that you like. Move into the image and make a brush stroke. By the way, if your brush tip isn't big enough, go up to the options bar for the brush tool. Click on the brush picker and set the size there. I'll click off of that picker to close it. Let's make a couple more strokes. Go to the swatches panel again, select another color and stroke. And let's do that one more time. So let's say that you want to get rid of the last action that you did in Photoshop. In this case, making that pink stroke. The quick way to do that is to use a keyboard shortcut, Command plus Z on the Mac or Control plus Z on Windows, which I'll do now. And the pink stroke goes away. I can bring it back by pressing Command plus Z again or Control plus Z again. So that keyboard shortcut is a toggle for undoing and redoing the last action that you took. If you prefer to use a menu command rather than the shortcut, you can go up to the edit menu and there you can choose undo and Photoshop even tells you what action you're going to undo. And then edit and redo. Now what if you want to undo more than just one step? In that case, go up to the edit menu and this time choose step backward. And you can do that up to 50 times by default. And each time, you're stepping back one action, one step in time. Similarly, you can step forward one step at a time. Edit, step forward. Edit, step forward. Edit, step forward. There's one more way that you can step through time in Photoshop, and that's using the History panel. The History panel is located here in this collapsed column of panels. If you don't see it, go up to the Window menu and choose History. I'm going to expand this panel by moving down to its bottom bar until I see a double-pointed arrow and then dragging down. So what we see in this panel is a separate bar for each action that I just took on this image. Open and then three strokes with the brush tool. Keep your eye on the panel as I make another stroke. My fourth stroke was just recorded in the History panel, too. Now let's use another tool to see how it's recorded. Go to the Tools panel, and this time select the Dodge tool, which is used to make things lighter. The Dodge tool also has a brush tip, just like the Brush tool. To make the Dodge tool tip bigger, go up to the Options bar for this tool, and there you have a size slider that you can drag. And then click in a blank area to close the brush picker. Now come into the image and let's drag over the leaf a couple times. Each time I release my mouse and then drag again, another dodge tool state is recorded here in the history panel. The beauty of having these states in the history panel is that you can step back through them one by one, like this, or you can jump to a particular state, like this. And each time you do that, everything in the image changes to the way it looked at that state, at that point in time. You also can step forward or jump forward in time in the History panel, like this. Two things to keep in mind about the History panel. If you do go back to a previous state, let's go back here, and then you do something else, let's say I dodge in this area of the image. Keep your eye on the History panel and you'll see that everything after the state I'd gone back to disappears. It's as if you went back to a fork in the road and took a different path. Everything on the first road beyond the fork disappears. And the second thing to keep in mind is that when you close the image, whether or not you save it, your history disappears. And the next time you open the image, the history panel will be cleared out and will start again with a fresh history. Now, if the history panel isn't your cup of tea, you can rely on the simple commands in the Edit menu instead. Undo for single undos and step backward for multiple undos. Either way, you have lots of flexibility to correct any mistakes or try new approaches as you edit an image. 